Few observers give leftist Egyptian presidential candidate Hamdine Sabahi a serious chance of winning Egypt's upcoming presidential elections. But the man whose upstart campaign came within a whisker of putting him in the runoff during the 2012 election is hoping to turn expectations on their head the second time. Residents of Sabahi's hometown of Baltim in the Nile Delta say the leftist underdog is the best hope for Egypt's future. <laughs> What we can see is that all the media is leaning in the direction of Sisi, and as they say, nagging in one's ear can be more effective than black magic. An advert every hour, there's no balance in the advertising. Sabahi's supporters say he has remained true to his roots in Egypt's agricultural heartland as an advocate for farmers and the rural poor. His populist campaign has focused on the poor as well as young Egyptians, who he says are disillusioned with the failure to secure the lofty goals of the uprising that toppled Mubarak. Hamdin is the one who first got young people like me to get up and go to Tahrir Square, and he came with us. He is one of us. When did Sisi come to us? Results announced on Wednesday gave al-Sisi a huge majority over Sabahi amongst Egyptians living abroad who have voted early. But inside Egypt, Sabahi is continuing to gamble on disillusioned young Egyptians to pull him through. We will not be able to realize what you've put forward in this program and what the people want without the country's youth, a successful country, a country of high standards and a country empty of corruption. With just days to go before Egypt elects a new president, Sabahi may have too much ground to cover to upstage his rival and make the ballot a real contest. But his populist message still resonates with many who believe Egypt's 2011 uprising has gone astray and who fear that the election's likely winner could represent a return to politics as usual after years of upheaval. Maria Galang, CCTV.